Where's your sacrifice? I'm the sacrifice. How about that? I'm the first fruits. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> All right, let me get back. All right. For the law maketh men high priests which have infirmity. How about that? But word of the oath which was since the law make the son who is consecrated forevermore. How about that? So that's it. Now we're going to tie you into it so you can see. And then we're going to kind of what's your appetite for the, for the next half hour for the lesson on, I'm like, it's not gonna take long to do what we got to do with that, with, with that, uh, uh, meat offering. It ain't gonna take much to do. We kind of tapped into it with this, but we're going to, we're going to open it up, right? We're going to, we're going to cut it over. We're going to dissect it some more. How about that? All right. Now, so tie you in here. First Peter chapter two, chapter two, verse five, right? We're going to tie you in here and we're going to move on. Right. All right. First Peter chapter, first Peter chapter two, right? All right. Here we go. We're going to start right at verse one. We're going to read on down. Right. You all ready? Here we go. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, underline that, all guile, underline that, all hypocrisy, underline that, all envies, underline that, and all evil speaking, underline that. So you're going to lay aside malice, guile, hypocrisies, envies, and all speaking. So you're going to lay aside what? Malice, which is what? Badness, depravity, malignity, trouble. You're going to lay aside that. Then you're going to lay aside guile. Guile, which is what? Tricks. Tricks are for kids. You're going to lay away tricks for kids. You're going to lay away Wally Coyote. See that Wally? Lay aside all of that, right? Tricksters. No more time. Y'all don't need tricksters. You can't be serving y'all. You can't be in a kingdom priest if you're a trickster. You got tricks. You got a strategy to get people to give you money. You got a strategy to get people to become a part of your camp. You're a trickster. You're not a priest. Right? Lay aside. Lay aside guile. Lay aside hypocrisy. What's that? Acting under a faint part that is deceitful. Right. If it goes against what Yah's covenant says and you try to exclude any people in the covenant that Yah gave to man, not to a specific seed, but to it was passed down through a seed because the other people was wicked. They were what? Full of malice, guile and hypocrisy. <laughs> All right. Envies, right? Envies, ill will. Detraction, jealousy, right? Okay, lay aside that. Okay, you don't have to look like me to be a part of this covenant. God's not a respect of persons. So if you obey God's covenant, you're a brother or sister of mine. God said, what's your flesh look like? But you can't be in the covenant and be disobedient, whether you look like me or don't look like me. All right, now. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. If so be that you have, oh, let me back up because that I just read that too fast. Then I read it too fast. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. What's the milk of the word? Obedience. That's the milk. If you have not gotten obeying Yah on your belt, you still on milk. <laughs> you can't grow into the deeper things of Yah because you still have the battle with obeying Yah. Your flesh has got the control over you. You can't obey Yah because your flesh is your flesh is, is screaming. It's a screaming demon. Yah done sent you a wife. Yah done sent you a husband, but you you looking at the flesh. Your flesh is crying for attention. I want somebody that looked like it was back in back in back in my day. It was Jane Kennedy and 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 um uh uh what's her name uh Jackie uh, Pam Greer, right? 
all the brothers going crazy with Pam Grier and what's the one that played in um, uh, Good Times, Thelma. <laughs> so people caught up in the flesh, right? And I don't know why that phone's ringing. That's my house phone. Nobody's trying to reach me, so I ain't worried about it. All right, so I was meddling for a minute. Yah has sent you, your husband, your wife, but you're looking for something in the flesh. You better grab what Yah sent you. Keep it moving. How about that? Enough for metal right? All right, let me give it back. <laughs> so the sincere milk of the word, right? That you may grow thereby. If so, being that you have tasted that Yah is, oh, there goes your grace. How about that? Yah is gracious. To whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yah and precious. Right? Why? See, why was Yahshua hated? Because he was speaking of things that, that, that Yahshua couldn't get with. Israel was full of racial prejudice, bigotry, hatred. Right? It's for us only. <laughs> Self-centered. Right? All above. Hmm. Let me get back now. You also are lively stones built up a spiritual house, a set apart priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yah by Yahshua, the Messiah, right? What is the spiritual sacrifices? We talked about that in a previous lesson is death to self. You can't receive what Yah has for you as long as your flesh is alive. Right? All right. So, acceptable to Yah by Yahshua the Messiah. It took me a lot of years to learn that. <laughs> Why is it that we have to wait till we get old to see what Yah wanted us to see? And all those years that you lost, it took you all them years to figure out how to get the best that Yah has for you because you was living by the flesh and you went after what you went after to only have life sifted out of you because you went after the flesh and not after the spirit. And Yah would fix everything that you needed, put it right in your hands, and you'd have lived happily ever after. It'll save you some time, some frustration, some bad choices, some things that you've uh, gathered along the way. <laughs> but no, the flesh was a screaming demon, screaming, oh, I want this. <laughs> right? No, nah, you messed up. People call me now. I done went through. I don't want you to go through what I had to go through because I, I didn't have no, no elder to mentor me and groom me like the elders that are after Yah's heart should be grooming the younger people that's coming behind him. Save you some trouble. Right? You, you could be spared. As, as a kid say, but no. <laughs> I want what I want when I want it. Right? That's the flesh. Right? All right, let me get back. So he says, spiritual sacrifice is acceptable to Yah by Yahshua the Messiah. Wherefore also is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and that believe on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe is precious, but unto them which be disobedient. <laughs> it's laughable, right? Those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected the same is made the head of the cornerstone, right? But see, people want to reject Yahshua's teaching because Yahshua, he was against the flesh. He 
You know the works of the flesh, right? All the things that keeps you from operating and living and maximizing your, in your perfected time here on the earth at this time, right? The flesh takes away from that. The flesh distorts the future. The flesh distorts the peace of Yah. So you want things, right? Uh, what is Yaakov said? From whence come wars and fightings among you? They don't they come because of your lust? That war in your members? <laughs> he said you fight and war. <laughs> That's what wars and stuff is about. It's about it's about consuming things for the flesh. That's why we got the right wing and the left wing, right? Because the people that are in power want to continue to benefit off of those that are at the bottom. And those of us that are in the middle are working to keep everything together. <laughs> That's what it's all about, brothers and sisters. But I went meddling again. Let me get back. All right. Wherefore also is contained in the scriptures. Behold, land Zion. I read that part. All right. Let me see. Um, Verse eight, and the stone of stumbling and the rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. How about that? Stumble at the word being disobedient. Uh Oh, there it is. There's that word. There's that word. Everybody hate disobedient. Oh, you disobedient. How about that? You're not in the law. You just disobedient straight up disobedient, right? So what you need to do is. <laughs> Since you're under the new covenant of grace on the back of the shirt, just say, I'm just a disobedient person, just a disobedient servant. Grace means disobedience. That's all. Because grace is in the law. Right? But you can't see that because you don't want to obey. So you're full of disobedience, right? That's the work of the flesh. Disobedient. <laughs> Oh my goodness, brother and sister. I'm telling you, it's, 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 there's, there's no no more resented word than obey. Oh, obey. I'm, I'm obeying that. Mm -mm, we're under the law. We're under grace. <laughs> That's called what? Trickery? Called um, Wally Coyote, right? That's why they named him Wally Coyote, right? Let me get back. All right. So being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But you, uh-oh, here it is. You are a chosen generation. You are chosen. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to use one of Brother Boo's line. Chosen to do what? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a valid question. You are chosen. Chosen to do what? Want to know? You are chosen generation. Let's look at that word just for the sake of it. Chosen, selected. Oh, favorite. How about that? There's no favorites in y'all. He said you chosen. You favorite. Your favorite generation, Genos, kindred, right? And a royal, uh oh, kingly, uh, kingdom of priests, you're a kingly, uh, kingly, priestly. That is a sacerdotal order. <laughs> this is just too easy brothers and sisters you've been drafted to the priesthood and don't even know it <laughs> when you embrace Yahshua you automatically drafted to the priesthood how about that you can kick you can swing you can spit right you can holler y'all don't want to be no priest that's too much break. I I followed him, my more. He he y'all speaks to my more. Stop kicking and stop swinging and stop spitting and stop crying and stop yelling and embrace your priesthood, Mr. and Mrs. Priest. <laughs> You've been called. You've been chosen for the priesthood. It's all right, it's gonna be okay. It's all right. That's why you got in growing pains. Because you won't embrace that priesthood. Right? So life is squeezing you. 
like a sponge. It's squeezing everything that's that's not like y'all out of you. Squeezing it. It's draining you. Oh, oh, I gotta take some more out of me. Oh, it's hurting me. Oh, it's hurting me. I can't live. Right, you want it. the most I want you to die. <laughs> I can't live. I can't have no fun. <laughs> Slap yourself. Like, remember Barney Rubble and Fred Flintstone? Fred was having going through the conniptions. And Fred Barney reached back to California and slapped him. <laughs> Fred said, Oh, thank you. I needed that. Right. So sometimes, uh, Bruce Shabbat, by this, sometimes you got to slap yourself. Right? Slap yourself back into obedience. That's all you got to do. Right? Let's get back. Man, I didn't get you the lesson. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. This is where y'all wanted me to co- wanted me close in on. So, gotta be obedient, right? All right. So, he says, "You're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a set up our nation." Right? A peculiar people. How about that? Peculiar. Where do we see that at? Huh? See. People read the people read the New Testament and they don't know that these apostles are quoting to knock all, all the time. This is Exodus 19 all day long. He said, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. You set apart a peculiar people. I will make you above all people if you obey my voice need, keep me covered. You shall be right above all people. <laughs> They bringing it back home. Shimon Kappa saying, this is what he was saying to us from the beginning. We can't see that. Oh my goodness, brothers and sisters. Too much flesh on the parade. We don't want to be priests of, oh, oh, we can't do that, bro. Mm, I'm still a babe in this walk. How long are you going to be a babe on milk? Master that, master that obedience to Yah's covenant and then you'll be all right. All right. Preferably somebody getting to somebody that's a little five, 10, 15 people that tune in with, with us each week. <laughs> the masses is not going, they're going to run. When Yashu was teaching to the masses and he started teaching them the, what they call the Beatitudes, people started walking off one by one. <laughs> too much. They said, who didn't get me saved, master? <laughs> we got too much in us. We can't be saved, man. I can't, look, I can't do all of that. That's just too, that law is just too cruel. It's too much of the law too. I can't do it all. Man, it's just too much. Thank God for grace. Thank, oh, hallelujah. Thank you for grace. Right? That's how people are. It don't work that way. All right. Now look at what he said. Okay. This priest of boy, I'm telling you, this, this is, this, this thing is, mm, this is a lifetime message right here. Priesthood. When we get the priesthood on our belt, man, Israel will be a force to reckon with. Can you imagine if every Israelite camp was preaching the priesthood and we was living the priesthood, man, we could go all over this lands of captivity and fellowship. We we could even bring some 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 revenue amongst our nation and we could go, we'll have to be bogged down with the with the heathens job system. We could have our own economic job system, even in captivity, right? You don't think we can do that? The most I told him in uh, Yermi Yahoo, he said, build houses, plant vineyards, hey, build houses and live in them. Take wives for your sons, take, take husbands for your daughters that you might increase. Can you increase in captivity? Yes, you can. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like Obama. <laughs> yes, we can. No, okay, let me get back. All right. So he says, um, you are a chosen generation, your royal priesthood. You are a, a peculiar people that should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness. What is that darkness? It's the same as walking in disobedience is darkness in his marvelous light. Who Yah is light since Yah is light. When you walk in the light as he is in the light, you have fellowship one with another. And now you become what you become his priest of the nations. Hmm. This 
is too easy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>